Okay, so I'm going to show the workflow on syncing audio using the um, iPhone for a microphone, basically, for the RX100 Mark IV. So first of all, let me take in the clip here, clips that I need. I'm going to create a new product, and I'm going to say, oops, iPhone, whoops iPhone as mic for RX100M4. Okay, so I'm going to import these two clips. And while those are importing, I'm going to just kind of give you the overview of what we're going to do here. We're going to we're going to bring in the video clips and then I'm going to bring in the audio clip from my drop. Then I'm going to bring in the audio clip from my Dropbox. Let me see if I can click on here. Okay, so you can see here one minute ago, this is the clip right here. I'm going to double click, and it opened up the um, the files here. And I want this most recent one. All right, so I can take this and I can drag it right into Final Cut Pro, all right, from the Dropbox folder. It's going to bring it right into there. And normally I wait until the video clips have already been imported, but I'm just trying to expedite things. So you can see there the audio file has already come in, and the two video clips are one's in, one's on its way. Hopefully, I didn't mess up the import by doing that at the same time. We'll see. <clears throat> but it's still importing. If I show the window here, oops, you can see there 57, 58, so it's still coming in. I don't think the camera supports USB 3.0. I think it's still at USB 2.0 speeds, but don't quote me on that. Maybe somebody can comment in the comments if it does or doesn't. I'm just plugged into the um, uh, I'm plugged into the camera. I did not pull the SD card out of the camera because I have a tripod mount on the bottom and I don't like taking that off every time. That's a that's a thing they should have changed. They should have had the tripod mount on the other end of the camera so that it's not in the way of the door to get to the battery and the SD card. Come on Sony, think about that. I've got a nice small little tripod mount um, that I that I have on the camera an Arca Swiss plate, if you will, a real small one that I just leave on there all the time. And I do that with all my cameras because I'm, I'm using tripods all the time. So it's kind of a pain to have to remove that Arca Swiss plate every time. All right, so the media is just about in here. And then once it's in, we're going to show you the process. Well, let me go ahead and um, make the project. And I'm going to call the project, same thing, iPhone as mic for RX 100M4 okay so I'm going to say okay import complete eject the camera so I'm basically showing you all the everything I'm doing here to um, to make all this happen. So, so if there's any questions at all, this should answer them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two clips and I just command selected them, right mouse click. I've right, right mouse click enabled on my Mac. Um, and I'm going to say synchronize clips. And the Mac does a really good job on Final Cut Pro 10 does a really good job usually synchronizing these. I almost never have a fail. But what I do do is I also clap once I start the recording on the phone and then the Mac, I, I'm sorry, the phone and then the um, camera, I, I do a little clap so that if I need to manually line it up, I can. I think here was the clap. See that? But let's see, I'm, I'm guessing we've already lined up here. Okay, so a subscriber asked me... Okay, so it's perfectly in sync. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the extra part in the beginning that I don't need. Okay, that's step one. And on the end... Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. 
Okay. So trim off that. Once I've trimmed off the beginning and endings that I don't want, select on this, go up to clip, and go to break apart clip items. <clears throat> All right, so now I've got my audio track down below, and then I've got the audio from the camera, which I don't want. Oh, by the way, I'll show you what the, the camera audio would sound like. Let me zero out this one. How do you get good audio into it? Not good, out. right? Okay, so we're going to kill that audio. Bring the other audio up to about, let's see here, about negative two to start with. Let's see what this sounds like. Piper asked me how I use the iPhone as a microphone. You might be getting a little echo because I'm, I'm recording the computer audio and I've got my mic, desk mic here that's probably getting a little bit of it feeding back in. So if you listen to the actual finished product, you'll see that the audio is pretty daggone good. So we've got everything in sync now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my B-roll where I actually talk about um, the syncing, I'm going to put some B-roll in here, so just stand by a second. Microphone, because the RX100 Mark IV, of course, does not have a mic input, so how do you get good audio into it? I'm about five feet away from the camera right now because I've got it zoomed in a little bit because of the angle of view I wanted. So there's no way I could use the built-in mic on the camera and get good audio. So I'm using the Rode Recorder app on the iPhone to record and let me show you a trick that I learned from another subscriber if you turn off the iPhone screen like that then I can no longer accidentally stop the recording so I can hold this upside down because the mic inputs are on this side and I can use this as a microphone and also with the leather um, case on here this is the Apple leather case it's not going to slip out of my hand, plus I'm getting very little handling noise. You know how with the mic, when you're handling the mic, you hear a lot of noise? I'm getting very little handling noise with this. And the audio... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the clip of me doing it at the end. I'm not going to put it as B-roll. I'm just going to put it at the end here. And then I'm going to record a voiceover right now for this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wrap-up out of here and, uh, and use this for your microphone. So let me know what you think, and please subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to take that part out, and I'm going to record a voiceover starting right here. So, and now I'm going to show you a clip of just how easy it is to use the Rode Recorder app on the phone. Here I am waking up my phone, and I can do it all with one tap there. And then I go into audio, and I go to Rode Recorder, and then I start a new recording. And you can set the quality and so on and so forth, but I've got it all set up. And then I set a new one. And here you can also set the mic level can hit record and just start the recording and make sure that your mic level is correct and so forth and, and if if the mic is hot or something you can just tap there it's kind of a little tricky to tap on it and then you can adjust the the mic level input level to your likings and then you can set a default so that every time you start it 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 has the correct mic level which saves you time so I go, I just send the recording to Dropbox, and then you saw how easy it is for me to take it from Dropbox and pull it into this program. So it's pretty much a fast, easy thing to do. So I've included the finished video here on the end, so you see how it all ends up. And hey, again, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, so a subscriber asked me how I use the iPhone as a microphone because the RX100 Mark IV, of course, does not have a mic input. So how do you get good audio into it? I'm about five feet away from the camera right now because I've got it zoomed in a little bit because of the angle of view I wanted. So there's no way I could use the built-in mic on the camera and get good audio. So I'm using the Rode Recorder app on the iPhone to record. And let me show you a trick that I learned from another subscriber. 
if you turn off the iPhone screen like that then I can no longer accidentally stop the recording so I can hold this upside down because the mic inputs are on this side and I can use this as a microphone and also with the leather um, case on here this is the Apple leather case it's not going to slip out of my hand plus I'm getting very little handling noise you know how with the mic when you're handling the mic you hear a lot of noise I'm getting very little handling noise with this and the audio quality I think is very good and of course you're not going to have any interference because there's no it's not a, a radio transmission going back it's just recording right here so you're not going to have interference from fluorescent lights or electric motors running or whatever can interfere with wireless mics right so really this is a very good solution and I'm going to show you the workflow exactly how I sync everything up and, and all that so that you'll know uh, the workflow of putting this together and I already shot a short little clip showing how the Rode Recorder app works and I'll insert that as, as far as you can see what I do is I just record the audio and then with one little click I can send it right to Dropbox and then I can take it from Dropbox and drag it right into Final Cut and sync it up and so on, and I'll show you how I do that. So um, this is a really good solution, I think, for getting audio into your uh, video on the RX100 Mark IV, and you don't have to buy any more equipment. We all have iPhones already, right? So, so you don't have to buy anything. Just lock and load and, uh, and use this for your microphone. So, and now I'm going to show you a clip of just how easy it is to use the Rode Recorder app on the phone. Here I am waking up my phone, and I can do it all with one tap there. And then I go into audio, and I go to Rode Recorder, and then I start a new recording. And you can set the quality and so on and so forth, but I've got it all set up. And then I set a new one. And here you can also set the mic level can hit record and just start the recording and make sure that your mic level is correct and so forth and, and if if the mic is hot or something you can just tap there it's kind of a little tricky to tap on it and then you can adjust the the mic level input level to your likings and then you can set a default so that every time you start it 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 has the correct mic level which saves you time so I go, I just send the recording to Dropbox, and then you saw how easy it is for me to take it from Dropbox and pull it into this program. So it's pretty much a fast, easy thing to do. So hey, let me know how you get audio into your RX100 Mark IV, and please subscribe to my channel.